the accountant selects the conduct audit work item that he will undertake today, although he will commence working on it later in the day. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on resource patterns in YAWL. Today we talk about resource initiated allocation. The ability for a resource to commit to undertake a work item without needing to commence working on it immediately. You can see the behavior in the following flash animation. Resource initiated allocation. Um, so, conduct audit is enabled and now there is a resource. So, this is a person that can select an accountant. So, um, we select Jane first. And then Jane has this work item allocated. And then she starts it and completes it. And then again for review audit, um, we can select an accountant. Let's say we choose Fred this time. And then Fred has this work item allocated and starts it and completes it. In YAWL, this is the default. So if we have a task here, review pay, and we go to resourcing, we can see three U's, which means that this is offered by a user and allocated and started by a user. And in this case, it's the admin that offers and allocates it directly to users. So we have the admin here, we have the specification, and we have two windows at the bottom, one for Fred and one for Jane. And uh, we start a case. And now, if we go to the admin work list, the admin has the possibility to either offer it, allocate it, or start it. And in this case, for this pattern, we need to allocate it to a resource. And we start by allocating it to Jane. And then Jane starts it and then completes it. And the next work item will be allocated to Fred. And then Fred starts it and completes it. In this case, it's the resource, it's the YAWL administrator, but this can also be done by team leaders with the appropriate structures. Thank you for watching.